In her presence, I felt a chilling threat. Megan, according to Kate's dress designer, requested a lookalike gown. To all my close companions, welcome to Royal Family News Update, where we'll be bringing you all the latest updates on the royal family's most publicized hypocrite pair, Prince Harry and Ms. Markle. Meghan Markle wears a white off-the-shoulder dress with a daring thigh-high slit to collect a anti-racism award in New York with Prince Harry. Only days after the Princess of Wales wore a virtually identical gown to the Earthshot Gala in Boston. Meghan Markle appeared to take a fashion cue from Kate Middleton when she wore an off-the-shoulder white gown with a thigh-high slit to accept a anti-racism award in New York City on Tuesday night with Prince Harry. Kate had worn a nearly identical design to the Earthshot Gala in Boston the previous week. As soon as news of Meghan's vile ripoff spread, royalists were outraged. Right soon, all eyes were on Kate, and she received a ton of compliments on her clothing. I heard someone say, a true royal in every sense of the word. HRH Princess Catherine must have given the late Queen Elizabeth II great comfort in knowing that her throne would be in good hands with her daughter. The Princess of Wallace outfit was the epitome of elegance and propriety, and her figure and height are stunning. In contrast, Meghan's leggy display is awful, and what's with the overgraciousness? You're lucky to have her in the UK. By comparison to Meghan, whose dress, shoes, bag, and glam squad likely cost seven figures, Kate wore a previously used dress that cost $75, in keeping with the spirit of the evening. One sings, whereas the other does not. Moreover, whereas William and Catherine donated funds to help protect the environment, hypocrites are honored by a group that profits from charging the well-to-do to watch comedians perform. It is the Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Foundation's annual dinner, and Meghan and Harry will be there to accept an award for their work in the field of human rights. Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton were both prior recipients of this award. It was reported that $1 million price tags were being placed on the event tickets. Meghan went all out with her dress for the evening, wearing a white Louis Vuitton gown that was both fitted and form-fitting, exposing her shoulders and thigh in a provocative thigh-high split as she made her way through the rain in the middle of Manhattan. She wore a boxy black purse and beautiful gold earrings to complement her ensemble. Her brown hair was tied back into a low bun to highlight her gorgeous makeup. Reminiscent of the Princess of Wallace beautiful green dress from Friday night's Earthshot Gala, which she co-hosted with Prince William in Boston, this ensemble was a nod to the importance the royal couple places on sustainability. However, the release of Harry and Meghan's first blockbuster Netflix trailer completely overshadowed that entire event. Like Kate's, Meghan's dress had an off-the-shoulder neckline, long sleeves, and a slit and was rented in keeping with the ecological concept of the Earthshot Prize. Contrary to the Duchess of Sussex, whose slit was featured front and center, Meghan's was located at the back. Though Meghan's dress design was similar to Kate Middleton's Earthshot gown, the Sussex family's appearance at tonight's Ripple of Hope Gala couldn't have been more different from the climate-focused non-profit launched by the Prince of Wales. The two eco-warriors arrived at the venue in a caravan of three SUVs and need the assistance of five security guards to get out of the vehicle. Their private plane had landed in New York City the day before. Meghan didn't appear to be wearing tights despite New York's frigid and damp weather. She didn't have on a coat either, so her bare shoulders were on display as she checked into the Hilton Midtown. The couple hurried into the gala meal, which was being emceed by Alec Baldwin, and then out along the red carpet without stopping or talking to the media. While holding hands with Prince Harry, Meghan showed off a large blue ring that appeared to be an emerald-cut aquamarine that once belonged to Princess Diana. Meghan wore the emerald-cut jewelry piece on her wedding day in May 2018 at Frogmore House. On the October 2018 royal journey to Tonga, she was spotted wearing the beautiful ring. Kate wore a necklace of emeralds and diamonds that had belonged to Princess Diana to the Earthshot Prize Gala. The stones were a perfect match for the green of her gown. After his mother's death in August 1997, it is widely thought that Princess Diana gave the enormous stone to Prince Harry, 
which she had purchased from the British jeweller Asprey in the early 1990s. Observers have speculated that the large emerald cut ring Meghan was sporting belonged to Princess Diana. The Duchess wore the piece of jewellery during both her wedding ceremony in May and during the couple's October 2017 vacation to Tonga. Harry and Meghan smiled for photos but refused to speak with reporters, who wanted to know their thoughts on the upcoming Netflix documentary and whether or not they had any advice for the royal family. After entering the gala, the pair took their places at the dinner table and immediately began putting on a very passionate performance for the guests. Snapshots of Harry's embrace with his wife show him showing extreme tenderness. During the banquet, humanitarian awards were given to the recipients, including Meghan and Harry, who were singled out for their efforts to combat institutional prejudice within the royal family. Carrie Kennedy, daughter of Robert F. Kennedy, announced last month that she will honor Harry and Meghan for their heroic battle against institutional racism in the monarchy. There will certainly be greater tensions between the Sussex family and the monarchy as a result of her comments. It came as a surprise to many people, including Kennedy relatives, when it was announced that Carrie, the ex-wife of scandal-plagued ex-New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, would be administering the RFK Foundation and presenting the award to the couple. Her brother RFK Jr. remarked in a statement to DailyMail.com, It's an odd decision but nonetheless a positive step up from 2020, alluding to Anthony Fauci, who received the award in 2020. Carrie told the Spanish news source El Confidencial that she honored Harry and Meghan with the humanitarian prize because of their heroic stand against the institutional racism of the monarchy, dispelling any doubts that may have existed about her decision. Do you think Meghan Markle went too far in imitating Kate Middleton's dress? This is a ludicrous action, right? Give us your feedback in the comments box. We really hope that this video was informative for you. Those that enjoy the content should comment, share it, and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this newsletter and hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.